Well, you get all you got most of the food I got out of the deal, then how about this? This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Where's Jenny? Come on, Jenny. Come on, Jenny. Where's Come Jenny? on, Jenny. There she is. <clears throat> oh, Jenny, come on, running. Oh, look at her. Where's Nina? The babies, both the babies were out here earlier. There you go, guys. Dig in, dig in. It's Sunday morning. Head in church. We're getting ready to head to Midway Hill Baptist Church. And it's time to give our little dear family some breakfast. I see some little ears sticking up over the porch down this way. Come on, Nina. Come on, Nina. Where's Ranger? Come on, Lucy. You better get in there and eat. Those kids are going to eat up everything from you. Come on, Ranger. Oh, we're crunching carrots again. There's Nina. There's Ranger coming around the corner. Come on, Ranger. Come on, Ranger. Come on, guys and girls. Better hurry up and eat before Milburn gets here. I don't know where he is. He's probably still out wandering around. So, come on, Ranger. Come on, baby. Come on, Ranger. Come on, baby. Come on, let's eat. Come on. That's the boy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. That's a good boy. Come and eat. Come and eat. You're going to miss out on the carrots. Yes, you are. You think I'll go get you some if you don't get it out of the bowl? You might not get it till this afternoon if you don't get in there and eat. That's the way. They're not too worried. They know they'll get more later. But it's always nice when you come out here and you count heads. And they're all here except Melbourne, and I'm sure he's not far away. We uh, had quite a few visitors in the yard this morning, including some elk, but it looks like they have all taken off when they heard us talking. So anyway, it's going to be a good day. It looks like we might get a little rain. And a little wind and a few more leaves in the yard. Hey, Jenny, we got to comb your hair, girl. Yeah, we need to comb your hair. So you need to comb yours, too. All right, that's, that's it for this Sunday morning. We might have a snack Sunday afternoon. Well, it is just after daylight, and here comes Milburn in after a night on the town. We saw him one time yesterday only. Look how big he is. He is a big boy. And uh, he come in to see his family. He's obviously been chasing girls all night. I saw him come through the yard one time yesterday evening. It was after dark, maybe 10 o'clock at night. And here it is just right after daylight, and uh, we see him again. And he still, uh, he didn't come to the to the porch. He came to the yard, but he's looking off out in the woods. And uh, I don't know who he's looking at. Here is uh, little Nina, beautiful little Nina there. And there is beautiful little Ranger, two of the three twins. We have another buck right out there that, uh, see if we can zoom in on him just a moment. The rut is beginning to get pretty strong. He's a young guy. That's probably his first horns. I think he is a six-point. I think he is a six-point buck, three by three. And uh, he's just kind of hanging around. He's probably uh, the same age as Milburn. And he's a nice size, but Milburn's quite a bit larger body weight. Milburn is holding his own. And with the larger bucks, even though he doesn't have a lot of horns to fight with, he does have a lot of body weight to fight with. And obviously he doesn't have much skill, but he's probably learning that also. But that's a nice little buck right there, probably probably an 18 month old. And he's probably coming around here to see my beautiful baby. 
my little girl, and there she is right there, coming in. I slept in the circle all last night. There she come into the house. And uh, there is Milburn coming in also. Back off that just a little bit. There is Milburn coming in. And the other little buck, he's saying, hey, do you mean y'all guys go up there and have breakfast? And he said, we sure do. Our human, our human is just about to come out here and put some food in these bowls. He does it every day. Him or his uh, beautiful doe come out here and put food in these bowls every day. And he said, wow, that's crazy. But you can see they get really brave during the rut. There he is. I guess he might be an eight point. Yeah, he's a pretty little eight point. Three and three plus two brow tines. It's a small eight point. That's his first horns. You can see he's got a lot more, a lot more antlers up there than Melbourne has. <laughs> and he's saying, oh my goodness. I'd like to come up there on that porch with y'all. Well, by golly, he might. Lucy can come over here. She hears me talking We're inside Melbourne. Lucy hears me talking there, and that other little buck is going, what? He is almost coming up on the porch. He might do it. I don't know. Now, as soon as I step out, he will take off like lightning. In fact, he's probably hearing my voice right now. Well, I know he's hearing my voice right now. I'm standing in the uh, kitchen, dining room. Lucy said, where's something to eat? Milburn says, hey, boss. I've been out chasing all night. I need something to eat. You can see he's been rubbing, fighting other deer. He's got only one little piece of orange left on. And I'm gonna go out and uh, give him a little something to eat. Who do you think? already out? That's it. That's it. There ain't no more. There ain't no more. I've got carrots in my bag, but we'll do those later. You can't smell them because they have You and your babies. You and your babies. Your babies are getting pretty good size. Yeah. Especially the twins. Bigger than their adopted mama. They're definitely going to be bigger than her adopted mama. I tell you what, though. Little Ranger's a pretty little guy. Nina, they're pretty, but they're going to be small. But that's Triplet. He's back there behind you. Well, it does look like the gang is all here on a cold November morning. Yes. Hi there, baby. Hi there. How are you, Miss Nina? Miss Nina's getting really big. You know, that girl is her own girl. Hi, baby. You want some goodies. We got deer food. We'll come out and put a little bit of the South Fresh deer food in. Well, you take a look at Forrester's little nubbins there. Forrester's nubbins is nubbing up pretty good. Isn't that right, Jenny? Yeah, he's becoming a man. You know, he's a, he's a really hybrid deer. He's liable to have some pretty nice horns this next year. There's little Nina and little Forrest. They're a lot smaller. They're native Oklahoma deer. <coughs> and, of course, Lucy the patriarch of the clan. Everybody is here with the exception of, with the exception of Milburn. Oh, there's Beamer come out. Yeah, Beamer come out and say hi. And Chris brought the goodies and they're saying, oh, we leave the deer food for a minute. We'll leave the deer food for a minute. Come here, Beamer. We'll leave the deer food and go to the goodies. It's got grapes and carrots and Cheerios. Grapes and, oh, and Chris has got a bag of, of carrots there. She's going to be giving them and uh, this is what happens this is what happens every morning and these guys are getting so big it's just kind of amazing <coughs> kind of amazing how big they're really getting and now uh, she uh, goes through a bag of carrots just pretty quickly <laughs> it doesn't take long now you can see that you just look how big that uh, Jenny is getting Jenny is almost as tall and Forrest is almost as tall as as Lucy. 
course, Lucy's a small doe. She was probably a triplet herself, and that's probably why she was abandoned by her mother. She was probably left to die and uh, would have been dead within a day or two had we not rescued her. And uh, But she is uh, was probably a triplet, probably why her triplets are, were so small and tiny, but we managed to keep two of them alive. Really should have kept them all three. I just don't know what happened to Indy. But anyway, everybody's doing good. Everybody's doing good. Everybody loves the great breakfast of deer food. And these deer are eating a lot of acreage right now, too. They are really spending a lot of time in the woods. They, they weren't here at all this morning. And Milburn is not staying around much at all. He's got into chasing girls, and he likes that. He likes that. And uh, he comes in. He was here yesterday and slept on the porch for a couple hours, just crashed out. But now he's, uh, I haven't seen him since last night, right about dark. And he's taken off and left. And the deer do a lot of chasing does at nighttime. There's no doubt about it. They seem to run all night. And actually, there was no deer here around the house too much last night at all. When I went to bed about midnight or 1 o'clock, uh, Lucy and all of them were all gone. Everybody was gone. Oh, Lucy said, oh, my gosh, I'm over here eating great. Oh, she got the last one. Oh, Way to go there, Chris. You saved me one. You saved me one. Thanks. She probably, well, there was some in the bowl. Well, if there was some in the bowl, I'll guarantee you she got some of those. She definitely got some of those. <laughs> and a bag of carrots just disappears just like that. <laughs> She's being ugly to Beaver. She's a Beaver. I want to fight her play. Yeah, I wonder if she wants to play or fight. No, 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 I know what you want to do with the cord. You want to bite a cord in two? You want to bite a cord in two? I know what you want to do with the cord. <laughs> Leave Beamer alone. Beamer, you stay. You stay, baby. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. I think Beamer is jealous of Lucy and vice versa. Look at Lucy. Look at her. <laughs> Lucy, don't you? But the problem is... And she just butted around with her head, but she uses her hooves. And they have really, really sharp little hooves. And I don't know if she's wanting to play. or she, Beamer says, she, I don't want to play with her. <laughs> I don't want to play with her. <laughs> well, you're definitely not sick anymore, are you, girl? I love to see you running around like that. You can't hurt my Beamer, though. I don't even like to hear you say that name, boss. <laughs> Oh, if you aren't something, if you aren't something. <laughs> Beamer will get you now, I'm telling you, girl. Beamer will bite you. She will bite your nose. You already got a broken nose. She'll break the other side of it. <laughs> That's so excited she fell down. Oh, oh, mercy. Well, it's getting close to dark, and it's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous evening. The deer family's out here in the front yard, snacking a little bit on the grass. And Nina says, I'll come over and see you, boss. I'll come over and visit with you. Maybe you got a carrot or a grape or something. Hi there, Nina. Hi there, pretty girl. You're such a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Look here, little Nina, come up here to see me. You're such a pretty little girl. Yes, you are. Isn't she the prettiest thing? Yeah, yeah, it's just one of my little triplets. Oh, she says, I, I just, I wanna play a little bit, Jimmy. I wanna play a little bit. She's acting like she wants to play with me a little bit. And there's Ranger, Ranger's gonna come over here too. Oh, now she's gonna take off running. I think that's what she wanted. She wanted me to run with her or something. I think I'm not gonna be running with the deer. And here it comes, Jim. Well, I got interrupted. I got interrupted on that uh, little deal there by the phone call. What do you say there? Hey, buddy. I think they want to play. I think they want to play if they get somebody to play with them. You want to play? You want to play? You want to play? You want to play? <laughs> That's a little buck right there. 
Yeah, 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 that's Forrest. Forrest has got a little cut on his side of his head there. He got it four or five days ago, and I think that probably happened. <laughs> you such a pretty little boy. You such a pretty little boy. Yeah, you are, you are. That's Forrest right there, and he is a dandy. He is a pretty little guy. You such a pretty little boy. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are such a pretty little boy. Yeah, they are really something. It's dead calm. I want you to look at that lake. I just, I want you to look at that lake. This is absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I went down there and caught uh, nine crappie and picked up a crankbait and throwed it for a while. Caught one more crappie. But look at that. It is. It, it was really windy today. We got a cold front coming in. The wind's going to change out of the north. But you take a look at that. Now, is that almost heaven? The lake goes on that way about a mile. It's about as far as you can see right there, but it, it goes down that way about a mile. But listen, these guys wanting to play. Look at him here. Look at him. Hey, you want to play with me? You want to play with me? You want to play with me? This time next year, you'll be too big. You start doing that, and I'll start running. Yeah, little force, I'll start running. I'll start running. I'll start. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He wants to play. Why don't you get somebody to play and run with you? How about your sister? How about your sister? How about Miss Jenny? Miss Jenny, how about you playing with him, huh? How about you playing with him, huh? You see a pretty little girl. Your collar's getting a little tight. That ribbon, we got to put a bigger ribbon on you. Look at him going there. Look at him going. See him go sideways like that. And when you you see a buck doing that out in the woods, you better climb a tree. Because when they start going sideways like that, and if they lay their ears back, that's a bad deal. But see, he just wanted to play right there. Probably if somebody would run with him, he'd take off and run like crazy. And just have a lot of fun. The deer eating acorns and eating grass. There's the... There's the... Oh, that's Lucy up there. Yeah, that's Lucy up there. Yeah, there's Lucy up there. Yeah. Yeah, there's Lucy. I didn't see Lucy out here. I knew she was close by because all the babies are right here. Jenny, she came running when she saw me. She thought I might have something good to eat. But you can see that we still got a little grass in the yard here. The Bermuda is all about gone, but it's a little bit left. We've cut the water system off, so we're not watering. So we'll get a little rain in here the next day or two. So things are things are still growing. But this is just a beautiful evening in heaven. That's just about what I can say. A beautiful evening in heaven. Look at the sky. The sky is gorgeous. Look at that sky up there. That's absolutely incredible. I just walk out here on evenings like this and just thank God for allowing me to be here. What are you doing? You want to fight? You want to fight? Huh? 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 <laughs> hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. 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 That's Forrest, little Forrest, little Forrest. Yeah, he's wanting to buck and play. I can't believe that Ranger doesn't get down here and play with him. Ranger's right there. Ranger's right there. Ranger says, I don't want to play. Now, there's only four weeks age difference in these deer. But these deer are real high class hybrid deer right here. And uh, little Ranger and Nina, it's just uh, Oklahoma deer. And they're four weeks younger, so that makes them a little bit smaller. But these are really big deer right here for their age. And look at that guy. He's going to have some probably some uh, pretty good horns next year for his first horns. He's wanting to play. Nobody will play with me. Jimmy's the only one at Ranger. Or, uh, Ranger, why don't you come down here and play with Forrest? Come on down here. He wants to run and jump and play. Yeah. These guys get going. They get going. <laughs> So what are you doing, Jimmy? You playing with my brother? Yeah, you're a pretty girl. Ranger, why don't you play with Forrest there, huh? Couple little bucks. Y'all can just buck around there all you want. You can't hurt each other. Couple little boys. Just a couple little boys playing. That's what you are. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when they buck. Let's see if he'll buck at me a little bit. I'm coming after you. Here, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. You're going into a fighting posture. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. <laughs> they love to buck. They love to buck. They're like monkey broncos. Oh, my. You guys are such a pleasure. Look you there. He's hid behind that tree. Oh, he's picked up behind that tree. He said, I'm hiding, Jimmy. I'm hiding from you. You're after me. I'm hiding. All righty. Well... 
That's a lot of fun. <laughs> Need to water that tree. I don't know if it's coming back or not. Might be kind of like that one. Needs more water. Oh, now Jenny. What Jenny doing there? She took off jumping it, Ranger. She's getting a little excited there. Ranger says, come and play with me. Jimmy's been after me. Get him, Jenny. Get him, Jenny. Get him, Jenny. Oh, you give him a little sugar. <laughs> Did you see her give him a little sugar? Get him, Jenny. Get him, Jenny. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> okay, here we go. 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 Wonder what would happen if I'd turn the camera around where he'd see himself. <laughs> he'd want to fight with himself. <laughs> you know, sometimes uh, deer and turkey both get around plate glass windows and see the reflection and get at uh, Tom Turkey. They found them dead fighting the window, fighting the reflection of themselves and actually kill themselves. And bucks will actually break windows. I, I get worried about that with the bucks around the, around the house coming to Court and Lucy and during the rut, which is just beginning to start. <laughs> Said, Jimmy, you're getting after me. That's funny. That's funny. That's so funny. He says, I'm going to be a big boy someday. I'm going to be a king. The deer king. Are you going to be the deer king? That's sure not going to be a lion king, are you? So I found me some good groceries here. They kind of grab that grass and turn it, pull sideways on it. Do you notice that? That's kind of a cool deal. It's really a pleasure just to watch them up close and watch what they do and everything. They really spend a lot of time eating. They eat and sleep is what they do a lot of. And they are just absolute treasures. These little guys are sure getting big. Go. Well, I got a big bag of carrots here and we are crunching carrots again this Thursday evening. A beautiful evening and beautiful little deer and their mama. I mean, we can go through a bag of carrots and nothing flat. I mean, to tell you, there's not a rabbit around that has anything on these guys. They can flat. I mean, they're wanting another one before they ever get the first one chewed up. They're like little chipmunks. They'll have a jaw full and ask them for more. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And these little guys down here. They're not quite as aggressive, but boy, they can eat with the rest of them. Here, baby. And even though they've got little tiny mouths, they will take a big carrot. And they will devour it in no time. Won't you? Yeah. Now, we need to save some back for tomorrow. Y'all gonna eat up tomorrow's allotment. I, don't, I think I've just got one more little bag inside. Better save them. They ought to be able to have real good eyes, shouldn't they? They should be able to see, <laughs> and I think they can. Okay, guys, that's enough for this evening. Uh-oh, Jimmy's going to cut us off. The carrot cutoff is oh, now. No, I didn't do that.